Hey guys, welcome back or to the channel. We're gonna build this well cement mixer. It is a you are upside down by the way. 110 voltage or 120 amperage, one 3.5 amps, not that much. Motor speed, not that fast. 1200 RPM. Drum is 3.5 cubic inches. Usable capacity, two cubic feet. Drum open, 13 inches. Drum material, poly. <clears throat> As you'll see right here. So apparently, there are no instructions. I gotta figure this out for myself. I literally just found the instructions when I moved in that box. I looked through it, looked through it, did not see anything. Found them. is complete. Then going off right here. The reason why I chose this is for the conventional stand-up one, which I'll show a picture now, is because I can lift this thing up move around and dump it where I need to. That part I like. I don't have to have a chute. I don't have to have the uh, my typical uh, cement mixer in place. I can just dump this where I need to. And this will be great when you put your posts in the ground because it just dumps right there and mix on the spot. Like ingenious design. And it's easily transportable. Very light. We need to pick it up. Let's see how heavy it is. It's not that bad. So yeah. And I'm assuming if you want to make it even less, you can uh, either shorten these up, put uh, a tent, uh, what do you call it, a tightening and boosting apparatus, so you can just loosen it up, push it in, and keep it a little bit more uh, compact. So, yeah, it stands straight up just like that. So you could just leave it like this in your shed and you're good to go when you need it. I like it. So, looked into this. Nobody has said anything negative about using this thing. Um, the next project we are going to use it. Pretty easy to assemble. You got your bolts for the handles. Then you go over to the uh, wheel stops for the axle. You put this one on, you put the spacer on. It does say in the instructions that this is longer, which uh, isn't the case. I'm assuming they switched out the wheels to something cheaper because the wheels I just returned were longer and these are the wheels that were the right size to fix my wheelbarrow. So there are better wheels out there. These are the cheaper ones. They also have a grease fitting right here, which these ones do not. Um, that does have the same thing on the other side. So you just push this through, put the spacer in, and then you have the other stop right there. So that's where the wheel goes. And the same thing for this side. I had them all face the same side up so that everything I can tell if this uh, falls out to replace it. And then the next thing after that is you attach the engine with five bolts. But this one here in the instructions or in the actual engine is missing. It's still there, but it's just not as long. So I'm not sure if that's an assembly error or just, uh... anyways, it doesn't matter. I attached the four that I could, and then I put the shield on. As you saw, you get three bolts across the top. They had those all readily available. And then the motor, or the, sorry, the drum, gets installed with the T-bolt, which is right here. There's a T-bolt, and then there's a, a lock washer plus a, a, a flat washer. Tighten it all up, and I used a wrench to continue tightening it just like that. And there we go. Then you just plug it in, and you're rocking and roll to do. So if you have any questions or concerns, leave them down below and get back to you guys as soon as I can. Peace. And this is tomorrow's project where we're going to use the cement mixer.